Welcome to Midnight Call Ministry, producing Swift Word. I am Arno Froza. What is Swift Word? We present the Christian worldview strictly based on the Bible. What you will hear may be not good news, and it may be good news. Sometimes it's discouraging, sometimes it's encouraging. But whatever it is, it is the truth. We gather news from literally around the world, showing you in clear terms that we are living in the end stages of the end times and that the world, the whole world, has to be united. Today I have an article from Pravda, the Russian newspaper, and the headline is First Hybrid Superconducting Cable Test Successful. Here's what it says. Russian scientists have successfully tested the world's first hybrid superconducting electrical cable. This small cable consists of magnesium diboride, a superconductor, and a cavity for the transportation of liquid hydrogen. The latter, while cooling diboride to a temperature of 40 degrees Kelvin, causes the effect of superconductivity. Then the article continues, Russian experts from the Institute of Microelectronics Nanotechnology, Russian Research, Design and Technological Institute of the Cable Industry and the Moscow Aviation Institute, decided to implement this wonderful idea. They created a cable with the diameter of 26 millimeters with a cavity for the transportation of liquid hydrogen in the center of about 12 millimeters. So this is something that has not been done before, but is being produced and is being uh, practiced in Russia. Then the article concludes, the Russian scientists have said that this experiment was very promising. It became clear that the creation of superconductive power transmission lines from inexpensive material is possible in principle even on the industrial scale. For Russia, with its vast distances, it is especially important because the existing power structure will never be suffic sufficient. The superconducting cables would solve the problem quickly and easily. Just one or two plants would supply energy to all the citizens of Russia, from Kaliningrad to Vladivostok. So this is something happening in the world, in this case from Russia. Now what does that mean to us as Bible believers? Well, this is of course energy. Energy is the key. The Bible has very little to say about energy, but energy is what drives the entire modern world today. Energy is the key. That's why the gigantic big oil corporations are trying to desperately to get more energy, more oil, more gas. And they have to go and drill deep into the ocean in order to get the demand, to meet the demand. And that's going to be more and more and more. So now the sun in the Sahara Desert in Africa could supply the need for all of Europe. As a matter of fact, one expert stated it would supply energy for all the world. I don't know if that is to be proven or not. But the fact is that through this system, through the continuous development of technology, the world is coming closer together. Africa and Europe must come closer together. The northern African countries belong to the Mediterranean. That means the former original Roman world empire. And this is now in the process of re being recreated through the European Union, through the Russian, Asian, European Union, through the African Union and various other unions. All for the purpose of uniting, of creating a peaceful world society where all people have their rights, their freedom, prosperity and security. But the Bible tells us, and that's where we come in, the Bible tells us when they say peace, peace, then sudden destruction cometh. 
there will be no peace except through Jesus Christ when he comes back, when his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives. Until next time, I bid you goodbye and God bless you richly.